What's up, guys? Welcome back to another episode of Married to Reality. I'm your co-host, John, here with my wife and co-host. She's gotten me many custom t-shirts in our time, but never one that showcased the progression of our relationship. It's the one <laughs> and only Teresa. Hello, everyone. How is everyone doing? And it's very true. Did you clock that t-shirt? That oh, yeah. Memphis and Hamza? Oh, yeah. We're rocking? That's a classic I just got married t-shirt. Oh, I've never seen it before. I've seen it on people, oh, so maybe like on social media. Okay. Because I was, I was going to say, did they get that custom printed? No. And if so, yeah, you how soon before the wedding would you have to do that? It's almost like the teams at the World Series or the Super Bowl, they print both teams winning it. Mm. Merch, like hats and tees, just so that they'll have them ready. <laughs> and then there's a pile of leftover tees for the team that didn't win that say. Mm, so I thought, well, maybe they got it printed ahead of time no, and if they didn't go, go to, through it. No, you go to <laughs> Etsy or anywhere and there are all these cheesy, I just got married t-shirts. Got it. Why didn't we do that? Because it's lame. Oh, hello. <laughs> <laughs> all right. I'll be honest, guys. No don't offense, hate, friends. <laughs> don't hate me. But listen. we have we have so many. I'm not gonna say lame T-shirts, but we have cheesy T-shirts. My entire sleep wardrobe is cheesy T-shirts. What? Name one. A lot of dinosaur puns. Okay, well that's a good one. <laughs> yeah. It has a it has a dinosaur in it. Yeah. And there was a wedding gift actually. Not the one you made me. Oh wait, do I, oh. There's one from your aunt and uncle. Yes. Then there's one that you made me. Yes. And then you've made me another. You did make me a wedding T-shirt, but not I that did. one. Yeah, so we're we're up there with the cheesy tees, just like. Yes, but you put thoughts. I I put thoughts into yeah. my cheesy or cheesy shirts for you, right? right? right. Not just like They're a personally cheesy. Yes, thank you. Not personally generically. Cheesy. Not generically. Yeah, cheesy, I don't go yeah. on Etsy and buy cheesy shirts. I make cheesy shirts. All right, fair <laughs> enough. They should have. They should have made one that said. Coming soon, mother, father, right? Because it said like boyfriend, fiance, uh -huh. husband. And then it should have said like coming soon, father, because as we learned, they're, they're expecting. They are. They're expecting. So I expect to see that t-shirt on an upcoming episode. Yeah, one of those cheesy, I'm going to be a dad or I'm going to be a mom. You take it easy with the cheese or you know I'm lactose intolerant. I can't <laughs> deal with the cheese. I don't think it's cheesy. They're excited about it. Let them I have guess. fun. Yes. Listen, Let, wait, I'm, you go, you go ahead. What's cheesy for me doesn't have to be cheesy for anyone else. This is my opinion on cheese. Yeah, I don't think it's, I don't think it's cheesy. That cheesy. I don't think it's that cheesy. Meanwhile, I'm a cheese lover. Absolute cheeseaholic over here. But, but uh, yeah. Not when it comes to Yeah, there fashion. are things that I don't find cheesy and other people would be like, oh my gosh, that's so cheesy. Oh, so yeah. yeah. Okay. Guys, we're going to get into this episode. Here's what we're actually going to do. We should tell our friends how we're going to do this. We talked about it last pod that maybe we would wait to do the tell all in one giant episode, a, a three hour mm -hmm. podcast condensed down to however long it took to cover it. But we need some brain cells to function outside of this 90 day world. Yeah. So we decided you want to tell our friends. So we're going to do this episode that you're listening to now is going to recap the last hour of the season. I mm -hmm. believe episode 16 is the yeah. last hour of the season. That's today. You're listening to it right now, Monday night. And then tomorrow we'll release a separate episode covering the first hour of the tell all. So it's going to be back to back hour. I don't know how long the podcast is going to be, but covering an hour. Yes. From the end of the season and then the first hour of the tell all. And then next week you'll get the rest of the tell all. Absolutely, okay. because as I said, we need some brain cells. Yeah, so I mean, look at me. I'm going to break my own rule and go out of order here. The best way to make sure you're getting every episode we drop, no matter when we drop it or how we split it up, is to follow the podcast. So easy to do. Just look down and smash that follow button. Guys, smash it like it's as hot as Hyatt's cat sweatshirt. woo Someone, Gee. Someone took my recommendation and put in some work and came up with a smash it like it's hot worthy. Please. I'm gonna smash it like it's hot. Most of my smash it like it's hot are worthy. That's yeah, that's not a cheesy shirt that she was wearing. That is absolute perfection. 
And she loves cats. She Perfect. was sweating Hello Perfection. Kitty before. Did you get Perfection. it? Perfection. I didn't even get it when I said it. And then I, I did. I, <laughs> I, I, did. I wasn't going for that. But sometimes puns you love puns. work in mysterious ways. You love puns. Even but when yeah, I'm not trying. She loves cats because this is not the first time she was rocking a cat outfit. Yeah. Yeah, cat's out of the bag. So smash it like it's as hot as a cat sweatshirt. Absolutely. So you're following the podcast. Now also make sure you're following us on Instagram. We're getting a lot of you guys coming over there, which is nice to see. If you're not following us on Instagram, we're at Married to Reality Pod. It's a good time over there. We're throwing up memes. You're messaging us. We're responding. We're telling you what's going on with the podcast, news, scheduling. It's all happening at Married to Reality Pod on Absolutely. Instagram. Absolutely. So make sure you're following us there. And last but not least, if you haven't left a review, please do. It means the world to us. It helps the pod grow. So if you haven't done it, you can rate, you can review, you can do it Apple, Spotify. So please, if you haven't done it, take a minute to do it. Yes. All right. That is the housekeeping. Before we get into this final hour of the season, how about a little 90 day by the way? I love it. Let's do it. Okay. This one I'm pretty sure you're familiar with because a bunch of our friends sent us this okay. story. And that's another reason to follow us on Instagram is because it's a lot of work to do these by the way is to dig through the trash the way that I mm-hmm. do. I probably have hepatitis at this point because I'm digging through so much <laughs> trash. But we got some friends helping out here. They're on the street. They're on the beat. They're sending me stories. And here's one that I saw but that our friends also sent to us, which is Ben. Oh, my gosh. We last talked about him getting in trouble with the law. Okay. Now he's got some more troubles. This time, apparently, with his job, he's been fired as the director of the Michigan Lupus Foundation. I didn't even know that was his job. I thought he was a model. Nah, it's a side hustle. Okay. He's not making much money doing that. But I mean, maybe now he'll have to lean into that a little bit more because, yeah, he was... The executive director of the Michigan Lupus Foundation, I believe, is, was was his title. And after all of this news broke about Ben and DUIs mm-hmm. and OUIs and whatnot, um, he was fired. So mm-hmm. there was an update from the Michigan Lupus Foundation. It was posted saying, Ben Rathbun is no longer with the Michigan Lupus Foundation, effective immediately. We are aware of Ben's situation, and he is currently on suspension from his position with the Michigan Lupus Foundation. So, that's what happens, Ben. That's what happens when you make poor decisions. I mean, it seems like every decision he makes is very poor. Yeah, I can't think of one good decision he's made no, since, but since I've known him. As I was talking to one of our friends, let's shout her out, Mia. Oh, what's up, Mia? Hello, Mia. We were we were having this discussion about Ben, and we both agreed, and I'm sure you guys agree too. I'm sure you agree too, that he when he makes a mistake, he's just mm. trying to find an excuse for it yep. for everything. When it comes to 90 Day, what was going on there? His ex wives. When it comes to his personal life and this whole DUI and now losing a job, he goes. From an excuse to an excuse. Mm. Own up to your shit, dude. Yeah. It, yeah. Doesn't own, God want own, you to be honest? Own up to it. Repent. Yourself? Repent, right? Um, do you have, because I remember I, I saw you guys, you told me you were talking about this. Do you have the excuse? What he said was the reason he had a DUI? Because it. Oh, yeah. So it, oh this, my is, gosh. this is a ridiculous story. Yes, I read it. This, this is I hope own. I'm going to get it right. This but is its own, by the way. He was helping some homeless people, I think. That's what I saw. And then, okay, this is where I might get it wrong. But long story short, he put him up to a hotel. I think so. And apparently they drugged him. They offered him wine or something or I yes, a, something. a drink. Ben, I wish I read it right before. It's yeah. Been a while. But well, take, it gra- take it with a grain of salt. This is allegedly. That... They put something in his drink. Yeah. So when he was driving, yes, he, he got pulled over, and no, that's how he got his DUI or OUI. And I think they did him. They gave him a breathalyzer, and he passed. But then they did a blood test, and he didn't pass. The whole thing yeah. is ridiculous. But that's his story. I think something like that is his story. We're not exactly sure. Yeah. But yeah, just own up to it. We Absolutely. all make we all make mistakes. It's it's so much easier just to say, yep. My bad. And I learned. Moving on. Yeah. And it comes to everything, right? But it seems like he likes making excuses for himself. 
Yeah, that's definitely a pattern. It's a, yeah, it's a pattern for, sure. for Ben. Hold on, I found the article. Let me oh quickly scan okay, it. Okay, look at you doing the research. Oh, here, let me okay. read it, actually. Oh, please do. In September of 2020, I went to help a homeless couple living at the Red Roof Inn. And this is from In Touch. Shout out to the Red Roof Inn, not this a is, sponsor. This is from In Touch Weekly. And when they offered me a little plastic cup of wine, I stupidly accepted it. He tells In Touch. I mean, I, left- I hate to interrupt you, but that's so stupid. You're helping homeless people and no shade to the homeless, but you're putting them up. That's nice of you. But it seems like because he said, I went to help a homeless couple living at the Red Roof Inn. Oh, so maybe he didn't put them up. But I was going to yeah. say, if you're paying for their hotel, I wouldn't trust their alcohol. Like, what is no, their alcohol No, but it seems situation? like he helped them. They were already living at the inn. He helped them polish off that bottle is what he helped he, them with. Well, he helped them somehow. This, it's not <laughs> clear, guys, right? He's but not he helping said, himself with this. He but. said, when I left, I felt so tired. I stopped at a hotel for the night and completely lost the next 24 hours. Apparently, they had spiked the drink, mm-hmm. unquote. Mm-hmm. Right? How shitty is that to blame the And again, the quote, the next day I attempted to drive home and hit the curb, disabling my car. The police did a breathalyzer and found no alcohol, but later they did a blood draw at the station. I found flubromazolam, mm-hmm. whatever Nailed that it. is. Nailed it. In my system, so- unquote. Uh, okay, not a cop, don't really know anything about the law here, but call in if you do. If you passed a breathalyzer and everything seems okay, why why are you taking a blood test? Maybe he was acting up and mm. they said they thought, okay, he's not drunk, he is, because he got OUI. Right. Not right. D, isn't DUI alcohol and OUI it, drugs? It's different state by state. Sometimes oh. they just call it different. Yeah, but I feel like if you are acting out and you pass the breathalyzer test... They can take you for a blood test mm. to make sure you don't have drugs in your system. Interesting. But I, I don't know. Do you trust the story? Not at all. That a it's homeless ridiculous. couple he's helping spied his wine? It's ridiculous. The fact Why that would he, they do it? The fact that he name dropped the Red Roof Inn, first of all. The more you add to a story, the more details you add mm. to a story, the more likely it is you're lying. Because I would have just been like, yeah, I was hope, helping some homeless people, blah, blah, blah. Like, why are you name dropping a Red Roof Inn? That's ridiculous. And- Right. What What's the benefit of them drugging you? Did they steal? You should have added that to the story. Why else would they drug you? Yeah, I don't, I don't know. And it then the, the facts didn't take place until the next day. The, nothing makes sense. Yeah. And he basically said, I drunk wine. Then I drove, <laughs> but I was so tired. So I went to a hotel and I lost the past 24 hours, which means he slept. Yeah. You could possibly sleep that shit off, right? I don't At know. least to the point that you can... Drive and act normally, it might still be in your yeah. blood. I yeah. don't know. If it's that strong, you wake up. You're I guess, still but woozy. he drove to the hotel. Yeah. I don't know. Listen, it's a ridiculous. So, yeah, story. I think, I think That's whatever happened, point. he did not have his story straight. Yeah. I think, again, he was trying to dig him ourself, dig him out of one another hole. Yeah. Right? For sure. Yeah. So, classic Ben, I mean, he wasn't helping himself at all. Okay. But hey. All right. Enough about Ben. Although Ben may get on OnlyFans soon since he's kind of running out of career options. He may get on OnlyFans soon, which leads me to my next, by the way. Okay. New person on 90 Day is now, well, not a new person on 90 Day. A a 90 Dayer is a new person on OnlyFans. How do you know? The 90 Day fiance queen herself is now on OnlyFans. Who's that? Who's the 90 Day Queen? I mean, Larissa has been on Not the queen. OnlyFans. Not the Queen. Someone who's never been on OnlyFans. The 90 Day Queen. Mm. The Queen herself. Of the 90 Day franchise. And the FISA? Now, think outside 90 Day. Uh, and I'm sure the, those What do you mean, people, think outside 90 Day? Well, think, I mean, it's not just 90 Day. The spinoffs, the... The other series that come. The Queen. Angela? The OG. Oh, my gosh. Who is it? Is it Danielle? No, but it's another D. It's Darcy. Oh, Darcy really? is on OnlyFans. Why? I don't know. But for just nineteen ninety nine a month, you could find out. You can get a view into her life off camera. And here's what I know. 
I, I didn't sign up for it, but there doesn't appear to be nudity. Okay. Which is why I didn't sign up for it. Um, it's <laughs> No, I'm just kidding. But it, it seems like it's a lot of what she's posting on Instagram. Some heavily filtered selfies, some other photos, some videos. I took a quick look. You can't see much without paying, but it, it seems like there's eight videos posted, three photos posted so far. The little bio says, come check out Darcy's World. So mm-hmm. maybe some behind the scenes type stuff. We'll I see. mean, someone needs to give her a class on photo editing because there is a way to retouch her photos yeah. in a nice way so it's not obnoxious and you still look like yourself. You look like a human. Every single thing that Darcy posts looks nothing like her. Let's begin with that, right? Mm-hmm. We all seen her on TV. We all seen her without makeup, and it, which is absolutely okay. Why in the world do you edit your photos the way you do? It's ridiculous. Oh, boy. It's literally, and someone who works with photography, and I do edit photos, it bothers me because it's out of control. Yeah. And again, there is a way to retouch photos. Yeah. That you can get rid of these little things that bother you. Maybe, you know, make your face a little skinnier. Maybe there is a big thing that appeared overnight on your nose, Mm -hmm. right? Get rid of it, sure. A little wrinkles, sure. But what Darcy does, it's ridiculous. Yeah. So who's going to pay $19.99 for that? That's what I was going to say. Is We're not even seeing the real Darcy. I I would pay 20 bucks a month (laughs) to see Darcy unfiltered. That's what what it should be. But I'm sure there'll be enough people signing up. But who knows? I'll I'll keep you guys posted. I'm sure some stuff... We'll get out there what she's posting and whatnot. And we'll, uh, yeah. We'll let I you mean, know. it better be good for $19.99. It's kind of pricey, right? It is. Just to see photos I of her. I feel like Stepanka, who make, made, has made a lot of money, her, she has deals like $1, $2, $5. Yeah, Same fast. with Larissa. Yeah. 1999 well, That's exclu- a lot. It's an exclusive club. I mean, she better be showing her vagina for Whoa, that. I'm I serious. I don't for think so, that but much I'm money? I, I agree. I agree. We'll see. Stay tuned. <laughs> All right. That's 90 Day, by the way. Let's get into this final hour of the season. It was a lot of goodbyes. We're saying goodbye to the season. We're saying goodbye to a lot of these mm-hmm. couples. And we pick up where we left off with Mike and Jimena, who Jimena's trying to say goodbye, but Mike will not take goodbye for I an mean, answer. There was part of me that felt bad for Mike at some point. What part of you felt bad for Mike? Well, his naivety. Okay. I, I agree with you there. I still feel bad for him being naive in a way, but... It's not his fault that he's an idiot. Yeah, but when someone tells you 500 times yeah. that they don't want to be with you, they're over you, what, <laughs> what, what don't you understand about it? Right, like, right. Like, move on. I'm sure there is a nice lady somewhere waiting for you. I'm who, sure he's got opportunity now. I don't yeah. know who, but I'm sure there's opportunity. Yeah, I mean, there must there must be someone who would find him attractive and appealing and like his personality. Because I believe, I truly believe there is a person for everyone. Mm-hmm. You just need to be lucky to find them, right? For sure. And so... You know how you're not going to find them is by digging your heels in and staying absolutely. in Columbia when someone is telling you to leave. Absolutely. And so I don't feel bad for him anymore because he's an idiot. At yeah. this point, yeah, dude, just leave. Yeah. And so Jimena keeps telling him to leave. He's packing up. Jimena's being consoled by her family. She goes, I always find the crazies. <laughs> it's one word for it. I mean, girl, you got pregnant in prison and they yeah. said you just split your legs in between the, uh, what do you call it? The jail bars. Yeah, the jail, bar- jail bars. So, I mean, you kind of attract the crazies. Yeah. In yeah. a way. But yeah, she's, oh, she's open. Oh, no pun intended. I was to, just going to say that. To the crazy. Yeah. Mike comes in while the whole family is doing like a group huddle, like this group hug, and asks if he can call Havana tomorrow to see if they can work something out. <laughs> I thought he was going to start hugging them. Right. <laughs> <laughs> like, can I get in? Can I get in on this? Yeah, yeah. And he wants to say goodbye to everyone. It's like everyone is there. Just it, say yeah. goodbye now. Literally everyone's there like in a family circle. Who isn't there? The dad? Maybe he's there. Who knows? I'm sure they all live together. The, we the, we know the kids are there. 
Yeah. We know mom and sister yeah. are there. They're one chair away from doing a Hava Nagila. They're all in a circle. Like, <laughs> just say goodbye to them now. It's this whole, well, it's the idea of like leaving something behind at a girl's place so you can call and be like, hey, I think I left my Absolutely. wallet at your, and your wallet at your place. And he, he still thinks that if he's going to come back the last minute, they'll fix things up and they're going to be, it's going to be happily ever after. It's like, Mike. I actually changed my mind. I want to be with you forever. Slow mo, yeah. hawk. And, and oh my gosh, he he thinks that, which is very sad. Well, the sad part is, if he just took his bag and left, and was like, "You just lost the best thing that's ever happened to you," right? Which is ridiculous. Obnoxious, but, but okay. Okay, if he just took his bag and said it and walked out, she might go, "Oh my god, wait, he's got a spine." He's got confidence. He's He might find someone else. No, I don't want to lose that. But he's sitting there crying. Like, can I say goodbye tomorrow, please? And I, I feel bad because the mom is like, you're both hurting. But we very quickly learn why mom likes this Mike. This was ridiculous. So It was ridiculous. But it was... I almost feel like it was up front this whole time. Like, we knew oh, yeah. about this. Oh, yeah. This, this is not a shocker. No, Jimena's mom is crying. And she tells the camera... I saw Mike as another member of the family. Yeah, the breadwinner. The piggy uh, bank. Yeah, and he arrived at the best moment because quarantine just started and we had support thanks to Mike. And thanks to Mike, we also got to eat, which <sighs> is very sad. It's very sad and I don't buy it for one reason. I mean, what? I do buy it. I, I know he's funding this family, but Jimena was a cam girl. That's like the only job you can do in quarantine. That's a, You don't have to stop... But she working. stopped for him because right. he asked her. He said, if you stop, I'm going to pay for everything else. Right. But my point is a lot of people lost work. You work in restaurant, yeah. you work in retail. Like you can't go to your place for of employment sure. anymore. You, a lot of people turn to OnlyFans during yeah. lockdown. I, I heard countless stories of, you know, mothers of four. I what? literally heard the British lady. Maybe. She was like, uh, yeah, I well, read that story and it's actually, I guess, great. She said she lost her job during the pandemic. She has a couple of kids. She's like, I didn't know what to do. Yeah. I have no support. And now apparently she's a millionaire Respect. off of OnlyFans. Respect. Yeah, that's what, Out that, of control. That's what Darcy's going for. Um, but that's my point is a lot of people turned to cam work or OnlyFans during quarantine. Mm -hmm. And Jimena's mom is like, oh, it was great because now we have someone supporting us. Jimena still could have worked, right? Jimena stopped working, whether it was because she didn't want to do it anymore because Mike said, I'll take care of I you. I mean, maybe she kept working and saved oh. up some money. That would have been smart. Wow. I didn't think about that. I'm just, yeah. She totally could still be doing cam work I and have, collecting the pay. How does Mike know that she's not? I don't not, know. I've right? never done it, so I really don't know how it works. But I'm sure, and I would hope, that the girls who are performing online, do whatever, they can block people. Yeah, right. So all she had to do is to block Mike so he doesn't see her anymore. I mean, I'm sure he would, maybe he could get another account to check in, yeah. but he could, she could just go to a totally new platform. And yeah. Yeah, that's so smart, right? Double dip. Get your tips from your other guys and have Mike pay it for you. I mean, my friend, I, I have a friend, I don't think I ever told you, and you know her, she was making a lot of money by doing this for a while. Which friend? You don't just say the first letter. M. M. She's from Czech, very skinny. Oh, 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 the one we saw in Czech when we were. And she was, she came visit me too. We ran into her on the corner and she no, wouldn't no, stop no, talking. No, 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 no. Not she, the one who was like, we no, went to No, the one from my hometown. The one that doesn't really talk. Oh my God. She was mm -hmm. doing it? No way. She was making, and it's like a secret that everyone knows about. Only she was fans pretty or open. on like an no, actual no, no, no. Like web? Like, like, like a, a web. webcast. No way. How old was she? she this is like years back. Yeah. When I was when I was trying to figure my life out, I was like, I'm gonna go to the US and she's like, I'm just making money on this webcam. Yeah. <laughs> oh, I bet you she probably made a, a good living. She was like guys were sending her laptops, yeah. cell phones. Yeah. They paid for crazy That's stuff. That's the perfect job for her too, because she's so introverted, probably mm -hmm. 
in person. I mean, I've met her. She's an introverted in person, but online, you could be whoever you want. Mm -hmm. And they had like a special place for it. They used to go to like an apartment with a bunch of other girls. Oh. Yeah. Sometimes she like stayed there for hours, like for a couple of days. She didn't she do was, it from home? No. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that makes sense, right? It's like but I'm a, talking to like she, she doesn't do it anymore. She did this like 10 years ago. Yeah, that she'd be like a banker, I thought. Yeah, like she is. So yeah. let's not let us <laughs> let's not spoil her job. Yeah, we job. don't get her fired or anything. <laughs> but um, it was before, like she was in college and she was making money like this. Mm -hmm. Interesting. Okay, um, so then Mike finally leaves, and there's this shot of Jimena's mom just looking longingly out the front door. I don't know if you saw this. She was like peering through like the bars of the front door, just watching Mike walk away. And it looked like she was the one in love with Mike. It was hilarious. It's like if someone steals your piggy bank, which right. someone did. And we I know. said the story before. We know. It's yeah. sad. But it was just funny because Jimena doesn't care. Jimena is so happy. She's moved on with her life. And Jimena's mom is just like watching him sadly walk mm -hmm. away. So then, okay, cut to the next morning. Mike's at the hotel. He spent the night there. He's packing his things up and he wants to ask one more time if he can come by the house to say goodbye and say thank you. I don't know why he's saying thank you. What's he saying thank you for? I don't know. Not the hospitality. He paid for that apartment. Like you said, he's. I guess for being accepted by the family. I guess that's true. The family was kind to him. It well, was he was Amena. kind because he was he was the piggy bank once again. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, everyone's going to be kind to you when you're flashing money. Yeah. And so he FaceTimes Jimena and he asks, can I say goodbye? And Jimena goes, no, I don't want you to come. You were very rude. This is over now. That's it. I don't ever want to see you again. <laughs> and so. And she hung up. Well, Jimena said Mike can say goodbye over FaceTime, which he did. So that's, that's all he got. He didn't get yeah. to go back. Harold Steven, Juan David. Yeah, just smile and wave. He's like, I feel like crap, but he's like, I'm ready to go home and move on with my life. Yeah, I think Jimena was nervous. Maybe Mike would show up with a U-Haul. <laughs> if Mike was. <laughs> I was going to say, I was saying not like, like Bora, you killed my joke. Oh, I, sorry, go back. I took, I took a break and you started talking. Let's run it back. <laughs> okay. I want to hear your joke. Okay, it's not funny <laughs> anymore. Do I need to lead you in? Uh, I was just going to say, Mike was like, I'm done with Jimena. Uh, she's taking advantage of me. I'm just going to, I'm ready to go home and move on with my life. Not. <laughs> yeah. That's part of the, I mean, my joke was going to be that Jimena was scared he would show up with a U-Haul and, and start loading in all of the <laughs> <laughs> appliances and dining table. And, and that's why she didn't want him to come back and say goodbye. It would cost him way more money to bring it to the U.S. than it actually costs. I mean, but, but just out of spite. Okay, okay. Just to I take can, it out I of spite. I can see that, yeah. You know? um, so Mike gets in a cab, heads to the airport, and he's like, I need to think about what happened, but I definitely will not be the first person to reach back out. That, that I know for certain. All right. So next day, Jimena's doing one of the final interviews, right? Mm -hmm. And the producer's like, ready, Himi? Ready? And all of a sudden, Mike Ring. is sending her a text Ring. saying, I want to help with the rent. So much for all that. I won't be the first person to reach he's out. A, he's an idiot. But she's like, why if we're just friends? And he's like, Mike. I mean, <laughs> Mike. He's like, Jimena. Por favor, let me help you. I want to work things out and come to Colombia on September 1st and get married. Right. What universe does did, he live and, in? And why September 1st? Like, did he find a deal on invitations that were already printed? Like, this is such a specific date. It was like, I want to come in the fall or the spring or whatever. You get like, an extra day that week because of <laughs> Memorial Day. Not, me not Memorial, um, labor. Labor, yeah. I, it, would, it would just work really well with my schedule um, if we could do September 1st. It was so ridiculous. The thing, did you notice this entire conversation, he spoke Spanish? He I think it was translating, wasn't it? No, he spoke Spanish the entire conversation. Mm. He was like, I want you secure. And she's like, well, you said well, I want... Well, once they FaceTimed, right? Like they right, right, right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, once they FaceTimed. Yeah. And Jimena's like, I'm not going to take your money. We're just friends now. And Mike's like, still in Spanish, he's going, friends, because of one bad argument, your life before me was very hard. 
no more, our future, a house in Columbia for vacations, a house in New York. Trout, like this guy all of a sudden, big baller Mike over yeah, here. Yeah, he's a promising career. Like, Sounds like Jesse. That- we'll have a house in Spain. We'll have a house I in mean, Amsterdam. As as I hate Jesse and his flexing. I think he does have the money for that. I don't think Mike has the money to have a house in New York, have a vacation house in Colombia, just traveling the world. It's like, dude. I mean, he does kind of have a house in New York and a house in Colombia right now that he's paying, <laughs> that he's paying for. <laughs> All right. That's so, very true. So I'll does, take it back. Maybe I'll does take he want back. a second house in Colombia? Yeah. It's, it's crazy. And Jimena goes, see, you want to buy me. You want to buy my love. And you, you're the one who said, I just wanted you for the money. Mm-hmm. But here you are just offering to give me money, offering to pay for my love. And Mike goes, well, I was very upset. And Jimena's like, I'm confused. I need time. We can talk later. Oh, my gosh. Yeah. So like he, he said, it. how many times do you have to say no to this man so he understands? I almost feel like at this point, Jimena's like out of pity for him. And at the same time, she's like, oh, like, I mean, he could help out with Duran. It would be helpful at the beginning before I start making money again, right? And, uh, uh, this situation is just crazy. Yeah. And we saw what happened on the tell-all. We'll get into that when we talk yeah. about the tell-all. But like for now, yeah, she's like, I got to think about it. Let's see. And it's only been a day. It's not like she's gone a week or two yeah. without that source of income. Mm-hmm. It's been a day and she's like, oh, I'll think about it. I mean, it. he is offering her the money. Like, think about it. If someone was bothering you so much and at the end said, I'll pay for everything, but I'll live in America for now. No, right? he said September 1st, mark your calendar. He said, mark your calendar. Well, I'm yeah, coming. that's just it ridiculous. It's like, ridiculous. She told, she told you, I don't love you. I'm disgusted by you. I don't want to be around you. You don't even want to. I don't even want you to sleep here for the last night. How did it go right. from there to 24 hours later saying, September so how about 1st? I come on September 1st and we get married? Yeah. It's, what, it's, the, what, seriously, what universe does this man live in? I don't know. It's a I, crazy I universe. I don't know. I can't fathom. I can't wrap my head around. <laughs> but All right. it is what it is. Let's take a quick break. When we come back, we'll talk about the rest of our couples. It's, uh, it's going to get juicy. All right. We'll be back in a second. And we're back. Hello. Hello, Teresa. Hello, I mean, have you Jonathan. Calmed, have you calmed down after that last segment of Mike and Amanda? I mean... Every time I talk about I Mike, mean. I smell dog shit on my sneakers. And I don't like it <laughs> one bit. You know, you just have that, like, that tickle in the nostrils. Did you associate <laughs> Mike with a dog shit smell? Yeah. You, when is the last time you smell a dog shit? I don't know. I mean... You see? D- does that ever really go away? I think we can all smell that smell. I mean... I don't want to, and now you're like making me. So exactly. ew, ew. All right, let's move on. Let's let's talk. <laughs> let's talk about a guy who I think smells fantastic. I think Hamza probably smells pretty. I good. I think Hamza is very clean. I think he's very clean. I he think looks he's, clean. He does a spritz or two. He's got a nice cologne, probably. Mm-hmm. Um, so I think I think he's he's a fine smelling man. Memphis and Hamza. Memphis is packing her bags, and Hamza walks in, and this is where we see those matching. Girlfriend, fiance, wife, shirts. Boyfriend, fiance, husband, shirt. I think it would have been perfect. And and I know you hate the shirt. Maybe this would have made it better. If there was like week one, week two, week three <laughs> next to it would have. girlfriend, fiance. It wife. would have been perfect because then I would not call it cheesy anymore. I would call it custom cheesy. Yes. And I'm all for it. Custom crazy, custom I'm cheesy. I'm all for custom crazy cheesy stuff. Right. Because that's your reason for it. Very few people exactly. have gone from stranger to spouse in three weeks. That's a great idea. They should have done that. Would have been, that. I wish they did. That would have been the better shirt. So, okay. <laughs> Time for Memphis to go home. She's saying goodbye to Mother Hyatt. And she is so sad. Like, talk about Jimena's mom being sad. And that was watching the piggy bank go away. This, this was real sadness in Mother Hyatt. I think they bonded. They yeah. went through, oh, you banged my my son. You weren't even married yet to oh, prenup. Maybe you should give up. Through all that stuff, they worked it out. And now she's leaving with her grandchild. Mm-hmm. That's the other thing that you, you can't forget. Yeah. Right. They are actually now, there is a familial bond mm-hmm. there between, between grandma, daughter-in-law, and then 
grand baby. Yeah, so it's real emotion. And Hamza is going to need to get his papers to go to the States. And I think he thought it was going to be easier than it's going to be because he's like, I learned the visa process can Mm -hmm. take a long time. It sure can. But I'm almost, I'm thinking if you get a good lawyer and you explain the situation saying, we're married already, I'm pregnant. That right there. I really want my husband to be here. Is there a way to expedite? And I don't know how the immigration works. As far as I know, the lawyers cannot necessarily do anything or speed it up. But maybe they can file an extra paperwork saying mm-hmm. like, this is what's going on. He is the father. Can he get some extra advance parole right. visa that he can actually come and be here? Right. Maybe it's a different visa. Maybe there is. Well, they're not. So they're not applying for K-1. They're going straight for the green card. Visa. Oh, for, for spa- a green card? So you can do either. You can do spousal visa and then get a green card. Or I think if they're not in a rush, you can just apply for the green card. Hmm. Yeah. Well, right. There could be a tourist visa potentially that could be yes. quicker. To yes. Get. Just anything to get him there for the baby. Absolutely. But I mean, he's got, he's got, let's say eight months, right? Eight, she yeah. says she's three weeks pregnant. Mm-hmm. He's got eight months. Now with COVID, it could take forever. Yeah. You know, with what's going it on. Does. It could take a year. It could take two mm-hmm. years. Who knows? So eight months may seem like a long time, but it could potentially not be enough. Yeah. So, okay. They head to the airport and Hamza breaks down in tears. I mean, there was some knockoff Coldplay music playing. <laughs> Hamza's in tears, getting very emotional. Everyone's crying. And I'm glad that man feels was like, You'll work on your English. He's like, yes, I'll learn English because he needs to. Yeah. He really needs to. So they don't have to talk to each other like idiots. Yeah. I've, like, like, I've been saying idiot a lot like so babies. far. Like yeah. But yeah. Like, yeah. Talk to each other like adults, not like kids. But we've said this since day one. Hamza can learn all the English he wants to learn. Memphis needs to help him by speaking proper like English. Like a normal person. Absolutely. Pr- she's going to reinforce bad habits. If she says me, poopy, tummy hurts. That's what he's going to learn. Yeah. And imagine that's how he's going to talk. You go to a dinner party with all your friends and he's going to come up <laughs> to you saying, oh, uh, honey, me, poopy, tummy yeah. hurts. Yeah. It's, Good it's, luck with that. <laughs> because let's even say he takes an hour English course a day mm-hmm. with a tutor. Let's say that. There's still the other 23 hours a day he's going to be speaking to Memphis. So Memphis needs to be the ultimate tutor Absolutely. and speak proper English to him. And yeah, so hopefully hopefully that happens. But they're at the airport. They're crying. I mean, it really must be sad. To, I feel like we first didn't really believe in this I didn't. couple. I'll, I'll we thought my it was hand. fake and stuff. I'll admit I, I thought it was BS. But yes, I mean, there are so many moments when she was just... I don't know, dropping these bombs at him. That's something that should have been said prior. Like all the prenups, postnups, her sleeping over at her husband's place. Like she should have said it before or say it ju- like when you arrive. Yeah. Don't wait until the last possible minute. But I feel like that's her personality. And some people are like that. Oh, for sure. People want to avoid conflict all the time. Mm-hmm. And, and that's immediate conflict, especially yeah. imagine having this serious issue, not that serious, but what could be serious. And then not being able to have a real conversation mm-hmm. about it because of the language barrier. You might go, ah, it's almost easier just not to talk about it. Yeah. Because if we start talking about it, it's not too fluent speakers going back and forth mm-hmm. and having a calm, cool, collective conversation. Absolutely. So... Not that I understand why she didn't say it, but it, it's easier in yeah, a way that she, she didn't. didn't. But there were so many moments when I didn't even feel their connection. And I thought she loves the family. She wants the family. She wants all that. But looking at them now, they do love each other. They are touchy-feely. They, well, let yeah. me ask you this then. Do you think they would stay together? And we can't predict the future. They could divorce in six months, but... Do you think they would stay together or be as solid as they are if she wasn't pregnant? Possibly, yes. But let me ask you this, and I know the answer. Would they be like this together? Would would, Would they even gotten married 
if his family did not accept her. No, I don't think so. I don't think so. they would because I think she loves Hamza. There is part of her that loves Hamza, but there is another part of her that loves his family, loves the support, loves, loves the, the family. place. That, okay, we can go to Tunisia and there is a place for us. There is this family who is going to want to see us, who's going to help us. Like She wants that. Yeah, I think there's that and I think... On the flip side, I don't know that Hamza would go through with a marriage if his family didn't approve of it. I think he seems very tight with his mom and sister. And if they're like, no, you cannot do this. I don't know that he would. I mean, let's be honest with ourselves. If my parents hated you, I don't think I would marry you. Um, You know why? Because, well, it depends on the reason. Right. If they hated you because you're not Czech, I would be like, you know what? That's BS. I'm going to marry whoever I want. But if they said... There was something, you were nice to me, right? You Or you you did something wrong. It would definitely affect my decision, right? Mm-hmm. And I'm sure it's the same for you. Yeah. Because I feel like both of our parents, and if we they love made them a good so ar- much. If they made a good yeah. argument. Yeah, but I think both of our parents are very truthful. They say what they think. Yeah. Don't you feel that way? In my past relationship, my parents, we learned... Once I got out of it, that they weren't the biggest fans, but during it, they just kept their mouth shut. They didn't say one or the other. They didn't say, oh yeah, we love her, Mm. but they didn't say like, what are you doing with her? They just didn't say anything. Yeah, but you weren't marrying her. No. I feel like when it comes to marriage, it's serious. And if parents are not vibing it, I feel like they would say something. I think my parents, and I think your parents respect us enough as adults oh, that if we were to make a decision, they would go, well, we don't know the whole story. They, If they're happy, if they want to do something, let them do it. Absolutely. And I, I don't think my parents would ever say don't do it, but they, if they saw something that wasn't okay, they would be like, oh, maybe think about it. I feel like they would put yeah, it on the table. Yeah, yeah, Same yeah. with your parents. Right, right. They wouldn't outright say, I don't think you should do this. No, but, but luckily we all love each other. We're it's all, all besties. Love. It's all love. All right. <laughs> Let's move on. To this next oh my gosh character this here cringy segment so ben, much cringe Ben and Mahogany you pick up where we left off Mahogany is running away from her kidnapper in a park um, <laughs> Ben and Ben tells the camera this is the same mindset as Mike who's like I'm not gonna be the first to message her Ben's like I'm gonna give her some time. Okay, her running away is a maturity thing. She's not willing to have the hard conversations or see my perspective, so I'm gonna give her some time. Which is about nine seconds before, <laughs> right? He can't even give her a running head start. As soon as she leaves, he like stands up and follows her to the car. Yeah. So it's like she got into a car, which I assume is the cab, right? Maybe, yeah. And producer do, is asking Mahogany, like, do you still see a future together? She's like, no, 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 no absolutely no, fucking not. No, no, this is the end. <laughs> there's, there's not a sequel to our story, is there? This is the end, I think. And she, di- she's like, oh, I didn't trust him from the beginning, but you get that feeling. <sighs> it's like, uh, so no, absolutely not. I mean, to be fair, there's a lot of things I don't like about mahogany, but to, oh, absolutely. To be fair, her acting mainly, I don't like. Yeah, about it's it. not that good. But she said, <laughs> "Don't come." Right. Yeah. So everything that happens after Ben lands in Peru, it's on him. It's on Ben because she Absolutely. said, "Do not come. I, I I don't want you here." Basically, my parents don't want you here. Don't come, and he did. So sure, she's she's not wrong to be pumping the brakes, running away. Uh, I don't think it's nice that she leaves some places, but yeah, I I don't even want to say she was leading him at all because if you think about it, right, they've been only talking for three months. It was all like most of it God related and God put each other in the in the way. But I feel like her being a young girl after three months, she's like, yeah, I'm talking to this dude. But I mean, I'm talking to other 10 dudes. Yeah. Let's think. Let's see what's going to come out out of all this. Meanwhile, Ben is planning a wedding in his head with Mahogany after three months. Yikes. And so I think that's this whole thing. And then he comes, even though she asked him not to. And he is who he is. Like, he sends her these long text messages. He's expecting her to freaking reply. Like, mm-hmm. he's acting like a teenager. Uh, I'm actually surprised that she's still there. I'm surprised that she went to Lima with him. Right. I got to wonder how much of it is producer encouraged. Like, mm-hmm. come on, please, you got to do this. Possibly, Is yeah. she getting paid? Who knows? 
I mean, I, she better be for all this. Yeah. Acting. <laughs> yeah. For Are you sure. okay over there? Yeah, I'm gonna be okay. I think. Have a have a sip of your beer. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Thank you. Um. Yeah. So, where were we? She. Uh. She. She's in the car, but she gets out because Ben's tracked her down, and it looks like she's gonna make a run for it. But she just wants Ben to get his bags out of the car. Mm-hmm. So this was the cab that brought them. Yes. There. Um. So he does. And Mahogany, like, dives into the car and it peels off. And that's it. Once again, Ben is stranded in a foreign city. <laughs> right? This is. <laughs> I mean, at this point, he should be used to it. This is becoming a pattern with Mahogany, just leaving Ben in foreign cities. But I think he realizes, finally, okay, Mahogany doesn't love me. This is what it... Does he realize this that? Is, I, I, think it, I think reality is setting, and I hope reality is setting. Well, he goes like... I did not know that our relationship was so fragile. Yeah. I mean, they, they What's had a relationship? They had a relationship. It was an online it was an online relationship that he tried yeah. to make into a real relationship. Yeah, he's like, I thought at this point we could have had a conversation. I mean Which, you could have, but you are being a creep. Yeah. Yeah. It's it's the same mindset, like I said, with Mike. Mm-hmm. I'm not going to be the first to contact. And Ben's like, I'm going to give her time. It's the same mindset of, wait, no, one more chance. Yeah. Wait, no, one more chance. Like, you can't read the writing on the wall. You think it's going to change if you just do this one thing? No. No. And it's scary. The, it, ben is a predator. Let's. Yeah. <laughs> let's just put that out there. I, I yeah. Mean, this, I mean. The stalking. The, yes. The messages. The. Yeah. It's, it's it's a little just, it's a little creepy. I don't Meeting know if out I would, in the dark I would, yeah, appear. it's creepy. I don't know if predator at this point is the right word, but it's definitely he's praying he's on crazy. a he's praying on a young twenty two year. He's fifty something praying. I don't necessarily mean he's getting he's a sexual predator or getting physical, but I think he is praying on what he thinks is a young girl, clueless perhaps who will look to him for whatever type of security or leadership. He's using God to try to influence mm, okay. her. Okay, I see what you're saying. Uh, I'm, you know, take the term predator with a grain of salt here, but he's definitely using some sort of influence All right. over her. Okay, so cut back to Ben at his hotel room, and he's packing up, and he's like... Never got to wear this shirt I bought for Peru. Saved it for a nice dinner, which we never had. <laughs> the, the, oh, my gosh. I was happy to hear that because I'm glad his embroidered skull shirt isn't his nice dinner shirt. <laughs> I was worried maybe that was his fancy I dinner mean, shirt. Same thing with Mike. He had embroidered. Yeah. I'm th- these are two are very skull similar. Skull shirts. These are very similar. Yeah, they can be friends. Here. Yeah, and maybe they will be. But Ben says, I finally got a text message from Mahogany last night. After I reached out to him, her, yes. after I reached out to her several times with no response, <laughs> um, like this is, this is really crazy. Right. Like she finally texted him back saying, I wish God bless you always. Right. That's, that's a very nice way to say, fuck please, off. please leave me alone. Like fuck right? off. <laughs> yeah. I wish that God blesses you always. Okay. I'm not going to bless you. So maybe God will. Yeah. Just, and- just leave. <laughs> we don't know what Ben responded with, but I'm sure it was 15 pages of metaphors and euphemisms least. <laughs> least. that he sent. Yeah. So then Ben grabs a taxi to the airport. In the cab, he's looking at selfies that he took with mahogany. Every he's picture like- <laughs> is just an arrow in the heart. <gasps> he was like, it was real <laughs> until it wasn't. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Gets to the airport. I mean, it's poetic, but dude, you're yeah. not 15. No, but he's got that arrested development. He's the opposite. He's 51. Just just leave. Yeah. Yeah. So at the airport, he goes, there's always two people, the online person and the real person. And I came here to see what was real. Well, I think he said it before. He got catfished before. Oh, yeah. He's, so many times. Uh, yeah. I, I don't know how that one got away. Although this one wasn't really a catfish, I guess. this. It wasn't, but... Girl asked him not to come. Then she took forever to show up. And when she did show up, there wasn't a love connection. Yeah. Well, how many else, how many clues do you need to actually realize that 
mm, okay, that wasn't a good idea. He needs a lot. He needs a lot of clues. A lot. Ben, the other thing Ben needs, a t-shirt that says, I flew all the way to Peru and all I got was this stupid hat because <laughs> <laughs> that's the only thing he's coming away with is that dumb hat that he cannot seem to take off now. I think he thinks he looks good in it. Yeah, unfortunately, he's he gonna. Does. There's going to be a news story that says, went to help some homeless people. They gave me this hat. They told me it looked good. It's like, stop <laughs> blaming the homeless for your hat, Ben. Uh, he's ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like he, he hides behind, oh, I believe in God and everything is God's thing. It's like, no, you, your actions are yeah. your actions. You cannot hide behind God. Stop blaming the homeless. Stop blaming God. Yeah. Just blame yourself. Blame yourself. For once. And it's okay. We all fuck up. We all make mistakes. Not like you, Ben, because you're crazy and creepy. But when you do make a mistake, own up to it. Don't mm-hmm. blame everything and everyone around you. You'll, you'll keep making mistakes if you blame other people. Once you own it, then you can learn how to correct your behavior yeah. and move on from it. But so I don't think you it. can. I think some people just can't. Yeah. I don't know. All right. Well, Speaking of hats. Gino and Jasmine waking up Ooh. in Jasmine's new apartment. That is her new apartment, right? Yeah. Because it was a twin bed with like hot pink sheets. It is her apartment. On the ma- like, okay. I mean, she seemed to love pink. Did you notice the unicorn placemats in the last episode when they were? I did in not. Her- yeah, like she's got a very, a very questionable interior design. I-, I would say she's got a questionable eye in general. The fact that she thinks Gino is attractive, but <laughs> the hot pink sheets. The unicorn place. I mean, everyone is an interior designer. Eh, everyone should know not to have hot pink sheets and a unicorn placemats unless you're nine or have a nine year old. I guess she does have a kid, but that's why the question is that her bed because really those sheets? I think so. Okay. Well, either way, Jasmine is in tears because Gino has to leave. And. Jasmine kind of feels some guilt because she thinks she ruined the last dinner with the arguments. As she did, but Gino should have ruined it even more and talked about a prenup, which he didn't. That's true. There was no talk of it this episode. And he has to do it over the phone, which I think is going to be safer for Gino. Hmm. She's not going to throw anything at him. But we didn't have that conversation on this episode. No, he didn't. He said, he said... And he said in the last episode that there's no time for uh, this talk. Like it's been already crazy. He's probably going to do it when he gets home. Yeah, but we didn't get it. Part one of the tell-all. Maybe we'll... No, but I feel like maybe they... Because the tell-all, we just saw part one, right? They're yeah. going to come back to him. Mm. I'm curious if they're going to throw it back to the prenup talk. They have he, to. He will have to come clean on the air. Oh. Mm. All right. Fingers crossed. Savash. Fingers crossed. So Jasmine's like so sad, so upset, everything that happened, Gino's leaving. And she goes, I'll send you sexy videos, Gino. Some people don't learn their lesson. Absolutely Because those not. videos are going to be on Reddit. Uh, any day. If they're not already on Reddit or other message boards that Gino frequents, they're going to be. Like, stop. <laughs> if you want to get naked on camera, do it on a FaceTime. Maybe he's screen recording yeah. like the creep he is. But you're going to send this guy sexy videos he's gonna have them on his phone you know who knows what he's gonna do with them yeah jasmine doesn't come do on. that come on so they get into a cab head to the airport jasmine legit sad like this yeah. woman loves gino i mean she does and she said it she's like i will always feel afraid of him giving up on me he's a good-looking man mm-hmm. <laughs> so here's the thing she goes it's not goodbye baby it'll never be goodbye i'll be waiting right And I'm like, I don't get it. Like, this woman's very attractive. Gino is very not. I mean, she is, okay, attractive, but she's crazy. And that's... She's so crazy that I'm sure she gets dudes, but a normal dude after a date or two is done with her. And that's what I was going to say. You got to remember the crazy because these emotions of her being that in love with Gino, they're on the same but opposite spectrum of the evidence and report. Mm-hmm. So it's the same person. It's the same craziness. Mm-hmm. It's just on one side, you have evidence, report, evidence, report. The opposite of that is I love you so much. It's all crazy. Absolutely crazy. It's all crazy. I think I just realized I've been saying absolutely a lot, 
but it's everyone's absolutely crazy or absolutely right or absolutely incorrect. <laughs> so I didn't pick up on it, but good because right. I just did myself. Oh, right. Absolutely, <laughs> right? All right, it's a great, it's a great word. Let's, it's a great word. Let's talk about our last couple here, Kim well, and Kim half and half a couple. Soldier boy, because that's true. Usman, it's just Usman. Kim left. Yeah, the art card was just. Who's fine? Like the mm-hmm. armor was just Soldier Boy by himself. Yeah, he's alone. Yeah. He's at a hotel and he's going back to Nigeria tomorrow. Mm-hmm. He thinks he loves Kim, but he wants to make it ma- make it clear for himself. Okay. So what he's gonna do, what are you gonna do when you're like I'm not sure if you love that lady who brought you the PlayStation and the mm-hmm. MacBook and mm-hmm. came all the way here? You're gonna call your ex Zara. That's right. The one that you made the song about. That's right. To see what's going on. Mm-hmm. And so he Checking is on her, calling see if she's Zara. Fine. Yeah. And this is the first time we see Zara. We saw it a tease. I a think. tease, yeah. But yeah. this is the is first it, time we actually see the girl Zara. The first time we hear her speak. Yeah. And, and Soldier Boy says, I shot this music video for the song I wrote about you before I, I broke up or before you broke up with mm-hmm. me. Did we know she broke up with him? Yes, he said it before and he said it now. She could not take his fame. Right. Well, I knew that, but I thought maybe he got fed up with her no, 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 acting we knew. out. I think he he said it before that she broke up with him and okay. that was it. Yeah. Okay. So he asks Zara if she's been thinking of him. And she goes, I've missed you. You were like my best friend. We talked every day for hours on end and not being able to talk now is hard. So let me ask you this, right? He was talking to Zara for hours. He was talking to Kim for hours. Mm-hmm. What are, like... Time zones. True, but don't you sleep? Don't you do work? Don't you sing? Uh, don't you create songs? Uh, what else do you do, you dude? You hustle. You hustle. Mm-hmm. Okay? So, I mean, that's his hustle. That's his hustle. And, he, and he's doing it. And he goes, you're the first lady in my life that sticks in my head all the time. That's it. That's nail in the coffin right there. If you're mm-hmm. feeling that way about another girl, that's your girl. That is your girl. That's and your girl. he also adds to it saying, she is so attractive and young. She's just 26. Yeah. <laughs> and she doesn't have an entire wardrobe with my face on it. Like she's very <laughs> normal. Um, but yeah, they, they were outside talking and then he like, he's like, we're going to take this inside. And he goes and he like lays down on the bed. With like right? his shirt open and the necklace that Kim gave him. And that's the shittiest part about it is he's got the gift from mm-hmm. Kim. That's clearly a very important gift. She took it back at one point. Mm-hmm. And there it is. Front, she paid for all the shipping. Right. There it is front and center dangling on his bare chest <laughs> while he's flirting with another woman. And singing to her. And singing to her. I mean, come on, soldier. How do you recover from this? He's like, Zara could give me children, which Kimberly cannot. Which, like, he's thinking about it. And that's fine. And and so go with that. And he kind of, he's trying to have his cake and eat it too by telling Kimberly, well, we can be in a relationship. We'll bring another girl in. And she can give me the kids. I think Kim would be okay if... There was another girl from Nigeria, from his culture, who would understand it too, right? Yeah. Yeah, he can have multiple women. I'm going to be the the one who's going to provide the children, right? I don't think Kim would ever d- could do this with another American. And I don't think Zara could I either. don't know that Kim can do it with Soldier Boy because my question is, okay, we heard he's attracted to Zara. We heard she could give him children. So what is Kim's role? Just a pocketbook. Just money. Is he just with Kim to get the PS5 and it's strictly financial and he just wants her for that? And then he does everything else with Zara. Well, not to skip ahead, but at this point, you guys have most likely watched this and you've probably watched the tell-all. As Jamal put it, he said... Is she your assistant or your right. girlfriend? Right. And it is so true. That's what I'm saying is he can go, oh, I'm going to multiple wives. You're going to be my wife. Okay. But what roles are these wives taking on? Because you could bang one wife, have a kid with one wife, and the other wife could just be the breadwinner. Is that what Kim wants? Because I don't think so. I think she almost thinks she's going to be the main wife. And then sure. Oh, 
Well, of course, that's and what I'm she sure thinks. you could have almost a surrogate. You could have someone carry the baby. Mm-hmm. She thinks she's going to be numero uno. I don't think so. I don't think so I either. Think especially because bank. she's like, not that I cannot have kids. I don't want to have kids. So I doubt that she would want to be, you know, around that right. kid. And I mean, she would be, but not as a, a mother role. Right. Just she'd be. Yeah. Whatever. I mean, long story short, I also don't know what Kim's role is because he clearly wants Zara. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's just Zara is smart enough to see what's going on and yeah. to see that, okay, if he cannot have one, he moves on onto another lady. Kim cuts the checks. Mm-hmm. As long as PS5 shows up, as long as MacBook shows up, then we're in a relationship. Also, let's. I was trying to put myself into Zara's shoes for a little bit, right? If there was a guy I'm talking to and he has this pattern of talking to older women, trying to get something out of them, clearly yeah. saying, oh, I want to be the new Jay-Z when I come to America. Would I actually, as someone who's young and beautiful, would I want to be with a man like this? No, and, and that's the, and the question. Answer is no. The question is, <laughs> does Zara know that that I mean, is I'm what sure Soldier Boy watched, is saying? She watched 90 Day. I'm sure she watched no, BGL. this season... That Soldier Boy is saying, I'd have multiple wives. Does Zara know she'd be Ooh. one of many? No, Zara might think, oh, I, we're on a monogamous relationship. But if he could, I mean, if she could give him children, he wouldn't need multiple wives. But, but it would have to be just Zara. Zara. Can, if Zara can't afford to buy him PS5 and MacBooks, mm. then he does need multiple wives. Mm. See, he's getting something from every individual wife. He does. Okay, that's what I'm saying. I mean... Maybe you should just, I don't know. Yeah, pff, I don't even know what you to say. You live your life, soldier yeah. boy. You live your life, but just be honest about it. Or find someone who wants to be in a polygamous relationship because there are people like but that. But Kim said Mormons, she was open to it in the beginning. There are other people who are not Mormons who are open to it. Kim said she was open to it in the beginning. Yeah, I think she said it just to... Right, to, to get that yammy. Exactly. Yeah. I don't think she is... I think you have to have a very different mindset yeah. to be open to it. I agree. Well, that's the <sighs> end. That's the end of this episode, this season, before the tell. I loved this season. This season was great. And guys, because we already watched the tell-all, the tell-alls look Ooh. fire. Ooh. Speaking of a good tell-all, this one seems very promising. Yeah, the part promising. one at least. But absolutely there is <laughs> absolutely john <laughs> all right that is it for this episode we're gonna get into the tell all tomorrow so make sure you tune back in we'll talk about the first hour of the tell all so stay tuned for that in the meantime make sure you're following us on instagram at married to reality pod it's a good time over there we got a merch store if you want married to reality podcast.com there's a button for the store t-shirts sweatshirts glasses mugs it's all there thank you again for the reviews and make sure you're following the podcast. So easy to do. Look down, smash that follow button. Guys, smash it like it's as hot as this freaking season. Absolutely. It See deserves that? Just it. Burn myself on it. It was a great season. Great I'm season. sad it's ending, but I'm excited to start something new. Yeah, give us the fresh meat. And I'm also excited for the tell all. Absolutely. All right. Well, that is it. I've said it all. Have you said it all? Absolutely. <laughs> all right. Well, we'll talk One more time. We'll One talk, more time. We'll talk to you guys sooner than you think because tomorrow or today, whenever you're listening to this, the Tell All podcast will drop. All right. We'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.